All right, Cancer, this is going to be a reading for August 5th through the uh, 11th. And um, let's see, we're going to take a look at your recent past, your current energies, and then uh, your immediate future. And then I'm going to pull up a um, uh, final tip from the universe for you at the end of the reading. So, let's see. The overall energy for this week for you is the sun. It's looking like you're basking in very happy, happy energy here. Um, in the past, you left something behind in regards to love here, and you're trying to manifest something new for yourself here. Uh, in your current energy, you are dealing with some deceitful energies here. Um... There's somebody here that has a lot of love for you, or you for them, or both of you for each other. But there's also a lot of confusion in regards to, well, what should I choose? I have so many options that I don't know what to choose, you know? Um, in your immediate future, you get the High Priestess, the Queen of Swords, and the Four of Cups. I see you still looking at the past here. You're very, very sad, very... Refusing to acknowledge the good things in your life. Um, and you're possibly turning into... Because I see the, the Queen of Cups turns this loving person that you are... Will turn into this very cold... Not cold, cold... Seemingly cold. So you're not going to be cold here, but... you're That's what the world will uh, see you as. As being cold here and detached from a situation um, but that's just the surface that's just the max max that's just the mask here hiding the fact that you're still hurting about something you're very much depressed about something from the past I feel like um, with the high priestess here I feel like um, Somebody you're, uh, you feel very, you feel the soul tie with is not communicating with you, is not talking to you, and that's what makes you feel sad. And in your head, it's like if this person comes back, I'm going to be very cold towards them. I'm not going to give them love. All right, so let's uh, start clarifying. Let's clarify the Six of Swords. Maybe that'll tell us more about what you left. Hmm. Clarified by the cards from your immediate future here, by the Queen of Swords and the Five of Cups show up there again. But this time they're um, right by the Hermit's side. So... <clears throat> You cut somebody off from your life in the past, and um, you thought about it. It's not like you did it, okay, I'm going to go. You thought about doing that. You were thinking about it for quite some time before you did it. But the fact that you left didn't make you happy. On the contrary, it made you feel very, very sad. So, I'm not sure why you left, but you left, or your person left. Could be reversed. Let's uh, clarify the magician. Let's see if we can figure out. I feel I feel like with the magician there, it's it's kind of feeling like you were hoping for something better to find something better, but you didn't, and that made you very very sad because you gave up the thing that was actually good for you. Yeah, so um, as I said, you were hoping for something better. You were hoping to be happy somewhere else, somewhere with someone else. 
and um, that didn't happen because that person, whoever you were thinking of, was resisting you, and you felt very abandoned by everyone. So this is a scenario, if you left someone for someone else, and that someone else didn't accept you, you were like, what the hell did I just do? I just gave up my happy, my really happy, happy times with my person here, my initial person that I left for this person that's not even going to give me, you know, anything. So it's kind of looking like that. It's weird. It's looking like that. Let's clarify the Five of Swords in your current energy. I think currently in your life there's something very big going on, some major change, and it's being forced upon you by the universe. You're being dragged to face something that you don't want to face. And I feel like it's in regards to this um, energy here of being deceiving, being sneaky, being manipulative even. And you don't want to look at that. You're like that. That's not. That's not mine. I don't recognize that. I don't want it. It's not mine. But I do feel like it's yours. And you're not acting. You're not taking any action to heal that. Although you feel something's off. You feel when the universe steps in. You feel all sorts of things, but not good things. Because you need to change something, and you don't want to look at it even. Uh, let's clarify the Seven of Cups. This may be what's keeping you confused currently. Because things are happening and you can't understand why. But it's because you need to change something. That's not... It's not for your higher good here. It's not for your benefit. Whatever kind of energy that is, that of sneakiness, that of trying to pull one over somebody, things like that. In case you're doing that, and we're all guilty of that, you know. Everybody did it at some point in their life. If they want to admit it or not, I can bet that all of us are guilty of that. So, But I feel like that's why you're confused, because that needs to go. And you don't want to let it go. You don't, want to, you don't even want to admit to it. You may be dealing with a Leo here. You get the King of Wands and Strength one after the other that talks about a Leo. It could also talk about August, because we're in August. So, um... <clears throat> this is making you, um... So the way I see this card here, the Seven of Cups that I just clarified, um, the way I'm looking at it is that you're trying all sorts of ways out to not deal with this energy here that the universe is kind of like throwing in your face. It's forcing you to deal with it. And you're like, I can grab on to work and, you know, get myself distracted and not think about that. Or I can do this or I can do that. Or you're looking at several options to try to get away from doing the work here. But um, it is exhausting. Looking at... <laughs> Escape routes is exhausting for you because that's not that's not what you're supposed to do. And when you're going against the stream here, it's it's exhausting. You're you're gonna get tired at some point, and you're gonna have to give in and work with this energy here. Okay, uh, let's clarify the four of cups in your um, immediate future. Let's see why you're still looking at the past. Okay, it's because you saw this person as being the person you were going to marry, the person you were going to build with, the person you were going to end up with. And I don't know if it turned out that way. Um, you could be dealing with a Taurus here. And you saw a lot of stability in this person and you wanted to build with this person. Um, things may not have happened that way. 
and you're still sad about it. All right, let's pull a um, final tip from the universe for you. Not the whole deck, please. is saying love yourself give yourself everything that you want to give that person give to yourself um, there is the potential of a brand new beginning here uh, for yourself to build yourself up back up here to gain that stability that um, love for yourself pretty much it's not saying go give your love to somebody else it's saying Turn it around towards you and take care of you right now. And this is how I'm reading these cards here. Uh, Queen of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. Um, this is what I have for you, Cancer. I hope you can <laughs> stop running when the universe is chasing you because that's not a pleasant race there for sure. So you know do the work it's hard it's it's tormenting but um yeah you're not going to be able to avoid it for too long that's for sure so uh cancer this is what i have for you and um i will see you next time bye